Hi guys, so I have my weekly haul for you, and this time it's only Dollar Tree. I didn't go anywhere else this weekend, um, shopping. I really don't really need anything, so, but I did go to the Dollar Tree because I try and visit that at least once a week. Um, I went a couple times. I had to go back. Sorry, I got hair here. I had to go back and pick up, um, some more stuff, so I went back a second time. So, um, let's go ahead and get into the haul. Um, I got a lot more stuff than last time to show you, so, um, yeah. So, first, first thing I pull out is just a pack of Double Mint Gum. I've already broken into it. Hubby picked it up, um, forgot to put it in the truck, so I kept one for myself inside the house, and then the rest is going to go in the pickup. And I just got a paintbrush. I'm going to be doing a DIY project. Um, I'm making my own nail rack. Um, I'm going to film that as well, so you guys will get to see that this time, because I have mine hung up back there finally, and um, it's awful. So um, I'll show you that in the DIY project that we will be doing, so I will show you that nail rack. Um, but I just picked up a cheap paintbrush. You know, this is pretty good. After you picked out all the bristle, bristles that fell out, this one was as many bristles falling out. Um, I only had a couple. So, um, it's not bad of a paintbrush. So, you know, just enough to do something. It's not soft or anything. It's kind of rough. But, you know, when you're just doing little artsy fartsy crafts, you know, you don't really need that good of a paintbrush. You know, you go to the Dollar Tree. They'll, they're perfect. I just picked this up for my purse. Um, deodorant. This is the secret brand. This was in the travel section of the Dollar Tree that they have now. Um, I just put it in my, gonna put it in my purse because for some reason yesterday I forgot to put on deodorant. I never forget to put on deodorant, but yesterday I did. So I figured I'd have this around in my purse for a time when I forgot, you know, to put on deodorant or I need deodorant or something like that. So I picked that up to put in my purse. Um, this next thing I got. The next things I got were these little ice cube trays. They're two for a dollar. Um, they're so cute. I went to a Dollar Tree that I never go to and found some great stuff. So, um, these are so cute. I've been looking everywhere for these. These are the Tiki Men. I've seen them in my Dollar Tree that I normally go to and then I couldn't find them for the longest time and found them in this other Dollar Tree. So, I thought these would be cute in my iced tea. They're just little Tiki guys. And then, um, these are, um... Hibiscus, I think is what, how you call those. Hibiscus flowers. Um, the Hawaiian flowers. So I'm going to, as soon as I'm done with this video, wash them and put ice in them. Um, so that way I have them for my iced tea. So I just got two shower caps. Um, I got these so when I don't wash my hair, I can put the shower cap on. I ran out of all my ones that I bought at, or not bought, that I got from like hotel visits. I ran out of those so I needed to get... Um, so I just got Dollar Tree brand. Um, I was really hoping they'd had different ones like Cheetah Print or Zebra, but they just had these ones with the little flowers on them, so I got two of them. And the normal two Ajaxes, this one I got this time is the grapefruit kind. I always get Ajax. Love it, so I needed more, so I got more. Okay. So now we'll go on to like the beauty part of Dollar Tree haul. Found these uh, eye shadows. They are there's only four of them at my Dollar Tree, and they are liquid eyeshadows. And this is what they look like. Um, there's no names on them or anything like that. But let me take them out of the packaging, and I will show you up close what they look like and do swatches. So this first one I got open is just this. Whoops. It's just the yellow. And look at this packaging. It's got like a cute little heart up there. I think that's adorable. And then it's got some hearts and a rose down the base of the wand here. Um, and some hearts on the back. And then some like doily pattern there around the whole bottle. And this is called Shiny Precision Liquid Eyeshadow. And um, let me swatch this for you. So when you take it off, the rose doesn't stay, it comes with you, and it has a doe foot applicator. Um, it smells a little bit like glue, and um, glue and like a, 
a protein shake. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So let me do a swatch of the yellow. So there's the yellow. Hopefully you guys can see that. But you can use these for a base under other eyeshadows. I think they would work good. They are wet and sheer, um, so not very pigmented, but that yellow is pretty. There's no names for these, so I can't tell you what they are, just the color. And these don't hang up. They're not hanging up. They're just sitting in a bucket. Mine was behind me. Like, if I'm standing looking at the nail polish, it was behind me in a bucket. So, if you can't find them, look there. Okay, so next this is just a black. Again, they all have that same detail on them. And same doe foot applicator. It smells more like a protein shake to me, so that's how it kind of smells. Or baby food. More gray. To me, it looks more gray, but in the camera it looks black. But see, it's oh, that one's more pigmented than the yellow. Look how overpowering that is. When I tilt like this, you can see the yellow, but... But anyways, there's the black. There's no shimmer in the black. The yellow has a little bit, but the black looks to be like a matte. This next color is just a bronze color. And it looks to have some shimmer in there, as you can see in the bottle. This is gorgeous. This one's my favorite so far. There's the brown. That is a gorgeous brown. I like that. And again, that's this color here. This last color I have is just a teal blue. It's more on the green side. It looks blue in camera, but it's more on a green a green teal. This one has shimmers in it as well. Okay, so there's that teal color next to the bronze. It's a pretty color, but the bronze is definitely my favorite because it's more opaque and the other ones are a little sheer. So these are all four of the colors that I got. Um, again, I really like this bronze color. It's not, it's not opaque or it's not sheer, it's very opaque. I can't see my hand through it. And the other ones I can, even the black. Um, because I think, well, since they're a little bit of a wet formula, it's not um, as opaque. But they do stay on. Um, I'm not going to rub the blue yet because it's still um, wet. But I'm rubbing that as hard as I can, and there's nothing coming off. Um, the blue did. Whoops, the blue did on my hand. <laughs> Got on the blue. But yeah, see, nothing's, nothing's coming off, so they will stay very well. Um, you won't have to worry about the staying power. Okay, and then I picked up two of these nail stickers. Um, they're just little itty bitty nail stickers. And they're different shapes. Um, this top one here is a heart with like a swirly in it. And then it goes down to a heart with peace signs, more hearts and swirls, more hearts and peace signs. And then it comes down here to a purple cupcake, more heart, and then a pink cupcake. So I thought those were really cute um, to put on your nails. They remind me of like, let me take this out of package so you can see that better. They remind me of when I was little and, um, you know, those, uh, those like stick on earrings, that's what these remind me of. I used to have those stick on earrings when I was little. But there you go, and they'll fit perfectly on a nail. Look at that, they're so small. You can do them on short nails or long fingernails. So pretty. Hopefully they stick well because these are really cute. I love them, so I got two packages of those. And I got another Sinful Colors um, fingernail polish. This one is just a green and it's called Force Field. And that's what that looks like. Let me, I did a swatch too. And that's Force Field. And that's what Force Field looks like. It's just a nice shimmer color. That's what it looks in the bottle again. Again, that was Force Field. And then I finally found Milani products. Well, just the nail polishes. So um, they didn't have any eyeshadows. So the first nail polish I have here is just the Milani base coat. 
Um, and this is like a creamy white milky base coat. I've never had a base coat, I just use a clear coat. But as you can see there, it's very milky. And this says that it it's a rich filling primer for perfect color application. So it'll help fill in your nail ridges. Um, and this is what the packaging looks like. Next one I got is just this Milani base coat or top coat. It says glossy top coat and it dries. It says a, a 60 second. This just says that it's a 60 second quick dry high gloss acrylic formula for extended wear. So it kind of gives you that acrylic like glossiness I guess as opposed to what it says. This I'm kind of comparing to um, Sesh Feet. It's really thick um, formula. As you can see there it's not dripping off fast. It's like a slow drip. Um, and when I was putting on it kind of smelled like Sesh Feet. It had that chem not chemical but kind of like a chemical -y smell. I don't know. But it kind of reminds me of my Sesh Feet. It's really thick and all these swatches have it on there and it's so glossy. I'll show you this one again. Um, it is very glossy. Look at that shine on there. I love it and it's thick. Um, so I'm probably going to go back and get more of these. I like this top coat. I'm always searching for the perfect top coat and this top coat is amazing. The next color I got in Milani looks like this. It's a pink based with glitter. And this is called Just Peachy. And this is what the swatch of Just Peachy looks like. It's nice and sparkly. Good, good uh, color for the summer. Be nice to put on your toes or over any, like a red polish and you would just get the sparkles to it. So that's a very pretty color. This Milani polish I have is a pink based polish with some shimmer, some sparkles in it. And this is called Hot Pink. Okay. And this is what Hot Pink looks like. It's very sheer. Um, oops, looks like I've got a ding in it. It's very sheer and sparkly polish. But it's very pretty. Again, that looked good over any red polish or pink polish. The last um, nail polish I have is this Sinful Colors. I forgot to show this. It's called Close to My Heart. And it looks like this. And it looks like it's going to be like a red. A red. Like an actual red. And it's not. It's more of an orange based red. In camera it looks orange. So it's more orange based red. But again very pretty. And look at that gloss on it. That nice shiny top coat. That's the Milani. Again. And it gives a nice shine to it. And it's a nice thickness. So. Really love that Milani top coat. And I want to show you guys again these will not budge look at that it feels kind of like drying on my hand though like it's kind of crispy so I don't know how that will feel on your eyelid okay the last Dollar Tree product and also the last um, Milani product here is this Milani lip gloss and it looks like this in the packaging this is called Jules and this is what it looks like in the tube it's just this nice sparkly lip gloss. Let me swatch it for you. It's kind of like um this like lotion my mom uses. <laughs> it's a little bit sticky but when I want to add a little bit of sparkle look at that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, It's a nice sparkle. You know I bet the, bought those wet and wild ones to make it sparkle like that and they don't work so this is really nice that this actually works like this and has a nice sparkle. So let me add this on top of what I already have. I already have lipstick on but we'll add it anyways. All the little grains of sparkles in it. Gives it a nice little little tint of sparkle. Um, the only thing I don't like is you can feel the sparkles in it but you know I'll get over that I guess. But yeah it's a nice little lip gloss. The smell smells like a lotion like a like a perfuming lotion but perfume lotion you know. Um, so like if you have air 
come by you, you're going to smell that. Um, if you don't like that smell, it smells like my mom, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I actually kind of like it, but it does have a very distinctive smell. I know a lot of girls do not like lipsticks that have smells on them and are very sensitive to smells. And I am one of them. I don't like anything around my nose to smell like lip glosses or foundation. Um, if I'm going to smell it throughout the day, you know, that's why I don't like putting um, lotions that have high SPF in them. Um, I can put sunscreen on my face, but I tend normally don't. I know that's bad, but I can't stand the SPF smell. So, um, but yeah, it eventually you probably won't even notice the smell. But it's a nice lip gloss. They had colored lip glosses there, and I don't know how well those would work, but I just wanted one that was, like, sparkly, and this one is the one that caught my eye. So, anyways, that's it. Oh, that's not it. The last four things I got are just these poster boards here. Um, I'm going to be using them for my DIY project. So I got four of them. Oh, crap. You know what I forgot? I forgot duct tape. Um... I just realized that, and I don't think I have enough duct tape. Okay, I guys, we'll I just popped out the ice cubes. I wanted to show them to you. Yes, you're in my freezer, so if you hear that noise. But this is what they look like. Aren't they cute? I hope you can see that. Burr. But you can see the little Tiki Man's face. How cute would these look in, like, a glass of anything? The um, flowers didn't turn out as great. Um, here's the flower. I mean, you see the shape, but you don't really see the little part of the hibiscus flower in the center. Um, three of them popped out. They're kind of hard to pop out, so you gotta turn them over and, and let them punch out. Here's another little tiki guy. There's a flower. See, you can kind of see it, but those are aren't those cute? And here they are in the tray. I don't think they're quite done yet, but I went ahead and popped them out anyway, so that way you can see their little faces and, and whatevers. Oh. Here's the hibiscus flower one. So, yeah, I thought those were pretty cute, and I had to just show them to you. Um, I'm going to put some in my tea here, and I'll show you that in a minute. But how cute, huh? Okay, so I got them in there. How cute does that look? I think it looks so cute, and I got this glass at the Dollar Tree as well, guys. If you're wondering, um, it's just a Coke glass. I got another kind, too, the green kind that's there. But how cute is that? Like, if you are doing, um, like, a party or something, and you have, like, you know, punch or something, you could put these in there, a whole bunch of these and Tiki Men in there, and that would look so cute, them floating around. But I think it looks cute in there now. You can't really see it from the side because the tea... It, this is tea. I have just a whole bunch of lemon juice in it. Um, but yeah, you just see the little shapes floating in there. I think that is so adorable. I love it. So yeah, you're gonna have. You, I just have to recommend these little ice trays. I think they're cute. I'm gonna have to get some more when Dollar Tree comes out with them. So very adorable. But anyways, that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, like I said, I forgot duct tape. I really need duct tape because that's how I covered this guy here um but we'll see how that goes so um i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and um if you have any questions please ask them and we'll see you next time guys bye when you wake up in the morning